9.30 in the morning in Los Angeles, California. You guys are eight. I, uh, had, like, a panic attack last night. Like, legitimately. Like, <laughs> I haven't, like, I haven't shed grown man tears <laughs> in a long time. I don't even remember what I was thinking about, but I was sitting on the couch and just fucking balling um and I feel so weird waking up but you ever just like think about like how uh you know your late night right before bed hey here's everything you did wrong like here's a super embarrassing thing you forgot about that happened it was like that but like a rabbit hole of just like all the fucked up shit I've ever done <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but I've never been that far down that rabbit hole. Anyways, um, I am doing a podcast today um, with my friend Jamie, and uh, we're thinking about doing like a Q and A type of situation. If you guys um, have any questions about anything, um, we're back from tour for the next, I think, like two months. And, uh, yeah, we have some exciting stuff going on. So, um, if there's anything you guys want to ask or, you know, I, I, I had a really good time doing the last one. I don't know if you guys watched it or anything, but it was just good, good times and good hangs. And so if I could, like, hang out with more people, you know, and, like, involve you guys more, I feel like, it, you know, we're basically homies at that point. <laughs> I'm just watching. Just to calm the nerves. You guys gotta see where I'm staying, by the way. I'm out of Airbnb. It's a sunny day in California. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking. I don't even take baths. I don't take baths, but you could you could fit several people in this. And look at this shower. What? There's this, but there's all there's. I could. I'm gonna turn them both on, and I'm just gonna run back and forth. Gonna. We're working on the music. Got some. Stank nasty. Fire cooking up. What's up, KJ? No. Dude, I was freaking out last night. Did you see me on the couch? Did you pass out? Dude, <laughs> that was bad. I'm, uh, I'm on the Instagram. You want to say what's up to the internet? Oh, man. We're, uh, we're about to make the, the, the nastiest album of all time. We're about to be uh, millionaires. You got features on it, you know, you guys don't even know about. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Nicki Minaj, first one. Who else do we got, KJ? We got Flock of Seagulls, <laughs> featured on the album. I'm sorry, I played a little bit. You ripped? Yeah. Wow. That's fine. Um, but yeah. The mic. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, if you want to, I don't know how I'm going to save any questions from here, but if there's anything you guys, uh, you guys want to know about, 
aside from like new music or I don't know we could get personal I don't know how weird you guys are gonna make it to be honest but Jamie was like we should give this a try I said okay let's do it um cool well I, I guess I'll let you guys go back to your fucking actual days let me know um, if if you uh, how you felt after acid. <laughs> See, that's a good question. I would love to talk about acid. How does it feel to finally have a break? You can look at my face, and and you can tell me what it feels like to have a break. I just beat the shit out of myself for like two months straight. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to boxing today. I have to exercise. There's so many there's so many places nearby. Every time every time I go there, I mean I went to a few boxing places on tour to try to get like you know, just to try and maintain some sort of stuff so I don't forget everything while I'm gone. And low key, everybody's kinda racist towards me. <laughs> like This dude was like, hey, one of the boxing coaches was like, hey, man, what was your name again? I was like, oh, Andrew. And he was like, Hector? I was like, no, dude, Andrew. And he was like, Victor? I was like, no. <laughs> like, people talk to me in Spanish and stuff. The other day we walked in to a class. I brought Hayden with me, and, uh, you know, Hayden's got, like, face tattoos and stuff. So we walk in, and it was, like, like a relatively, you know, suburban place, and... The coach was like, can I help you guys? And uh, I had to put on, like, my best, you know, good good guy, not sketchy voice. Be like, hello, sir. Uh, we are two musicians traveling through town today, and we were wondering if I could use your facilities for the day. And uh, <laughs> he was like, oh, okay, you're musicians. He was like, okay. He's like, have you had much experience boxing before? And Hayden was like, no, not really, like Andrew does. He was like, oh, you look the part. Because he has face tattoos, and he looked over at me and was like, and you, you know, the Hispanic types. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine. He's like, yeah, you guys can, you guys can work today. He's like, you're in my fucking house, and you gotta do my fucking shit. And we we're like, no problem. And so the entire class, you know, he continued to roast us. And he's like, I know you guys are used to the glamorous life, but it was good. And he just talked to us about how he was doing like cocaine with like. uh I forgot what metal band it was. It was like some like like some Godsmack or some shit. And he's like, "Oh, Godsmack came here through one, so we went out and just did a bunch of cocaine and fucking." I don't know. People are people are crazy, but low key just continuously racist. Like I have people talk to me in Spanish. I don't even speak Spanish. Like white dudes speak Spanish <laughs> to me. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking about doing a, like a Warp Tour Fight Club now that the Warp Tour announcement came out, and I can talk about it freely. I was thinking about doing like Warp Tour boxing matches, you know, like if we started something for charity, and uh, you know, had you guys pick like which which people on the tour you wanted to see fight each other, uh, and the more the more money we get, you know, the you know, we, we could we could we could make something fun happen and have like you know, goofy musician guys fight. Don't talk about Fight Club. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to, you know, bring down capitalism or anything. I'm just trying to entertain people with some violence. Like the Warped Tour bowling, yeah, but not as bo like it's. I guess the bowling thing is fun because you get to hang out with like the bands. And that's really exciting, but you don't get the excitement of like face punches, you know. Warp Tour Fight Club. That's what I'm saying. Who do you guys want to see? 
You know, if if you guys were you if you guys were fucking assholes, you guys would have like the giant dudes from like <laughs> you could pit like the little the little twerps against like the giant like uh un- underground punk guys. I think that'd be fun. Motionless and white, that would be so CT versus motionless and white. Yo, I don't know if you guys have seen Chris, but Chris is like eight feet tall. I don't think. I don't know, we'll see. Big versus little, I know. It's like watching a bear fight a lion. You know, it's it's not about who wins, it's about watching just the crazy, some goofy shit happen. You versus Spencer from Iceland, that's a good one. See, everybody's got ideas. We're already getting ideas going. Crown versus Parks. See, I'm so down. Let's do a pallet. Like, I I was iffy about the idea, but now that I can talk about it, I feel like that's that's the move. So as it, as it gets closer, I'll uh, I'm gonna text all the people on Warp that I know and be like, Hey, you guys, <laughs> I got an idea. Who would you fight? I don't know. I'm 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 scrappy enough to be down to fight someone like bigger than me. I'll fight Remy, I'll fight Emerson, I'll fight I need the Pale guys. Like they're all they're all like relatively, you know, my size. Is every time I die on I think every time I die has a guy in their band that's like one of the most scary dudes I've ever met in my life. He's got like a big he's got like a full mustache. He was wearing overalls and he's just massive like but I think they were like lifting like fully actually working out. So that would be funny just to watch your boy get uh destroyed. Oh, guy versus girl fight. <laughs> It's hard to like it's hard to look like a like a like a winner. <laughs> if you guys have me beat up a girl. A tour with Highly Suspect would be sick. Yes it would. I love those guys to death. Shout out to Highly Suspect if you haven't heard of him. By some if you've been living under a fucking rock. Check him out. I don't speak Spanish. I know. <laughs> you versus fans? <laughs> Could you imagine? Instead of instead of meet and greets at Warp Tour or signings, we go and you have to fight me to the death for a photo. That's so funny. You guys, you guys are goofy. Well, um, like I said, think of think of any questions you guys you guys have, and um, I don't know if you have Twitter, like tweet them at me and uh, my most respond to my most recent shit, and we'll film that stuff tonight. I'll get, and it'll just be ignorant, stupid, fun stuff. Alright, I don't really have anything else to say, but um, I hope you guys are doing well, and uh, I'll probably never, never eat that many edibles again. I think, I think I over, I think I overestimated myself there and didn't realize that I was going to be freaking out all night and rethinking about my entire life. I was like, should I just delete all the apps off my phone? Like, should I just, like, become a monk? Like, void all earthly belongings? And I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should just not be high for a little bit. But I gotta say, I feel comforted just even, like, having the conversation at you guys. Like, I feel like you guys, like, bring me back a little bit, so. <laughs> Alright. Later, y'all. New music coming. Be uh, be ready. Later.